And so this is where also maybe Anne was holding him back, as well as maybe his... Per I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering, really, more than anything mm. else. Did, did she get away in the way, then, of that, that radical thinking and maybe how Thomas Cromwell might have influenced Henry? I don't think we have the evidence of that, but what we do have is the clash over the dissolution of the monasteries. Mm. Uh, and I think both of them wanted to be seen as the hammer of the monasteries getting rid of monasteries, but for good causes, uh, in, in Anne's case particularly, uh, in those last months, she was presenting herself as the, the person who would make sure that the money from dissolved monasteries would be put to good uses, to hospitals, to schools, etc. And she set a tame preacher at court to suggest that the, there was an evil minister who was standing in the way of that and that, that preacher went to a biblical story where you could find an evil minister of the king and preached about him. And who, no prizes for guessing, it was Thomas Cromwell.